It's just it's different class, isn't it? Different class. How do you feel about the British Irish lines, Lucy? You'd no right to bring that up. There we are. Too young, just that I've loved to have seen that. We talked of Kilcreggan Ferry early this week. Well, can Kilcreggan Ferry, the Lady Jane and the Port Star, used to go to Kilcreggan, and they were owned by Ritchie Brothers. And W.R., Walter Roy Ritchie, was originally one of the Ritchie Brothers, but he branched out in his own, I think, around 1956. And they'd built the Lady Jane. I think she was solid teak with a, um, a two-cylinder Kelvin. You could hear her coming because uh, the, the the Kelvins would clack clack. Somebody said it was just. Uh, uh, they said it used to just go bang bang bang. I said no no, it was a two cylinder. It went bang 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 bang. There we are. And she would take you over to Co Craig, and then they were excellent. And uh, then I worked with Roy from the age of twelve. I worked with Roy, and we were on the Granny Kemper. The Westering Home, which was an old harbour launch, a 52-foot solid teak. The Granny Kempert was an MFV. And then the Ashton was bought from CSP and renamed the Gorokian. And then one day, Roy and I were in the Granny Kempert, passing Guruk Pier. We'd come over. We were going on our way to Danoon. And um, the Countess of Bredalbin, Denny's Countess of Bredalbin, the CSP, from 1936, twin Glenifer six cylinders. And she was sitting at the pier, and I said to Roy, how many would it take to run that boat? And he said, you and me. And uh, sadly, I'd left by that time. Uh, I left at 15, and about three weeks ago, I was in touch with my old skipper. Uh, Roy, sadly, has passed away. Lovely, lovely man, Roy Ritchie, and his lovely wife, Kate. Well-known Gurukians. There we are, lovely, lovely people, but it was great. And in the winter, John, all the um, CSPs that were summer traffic, uh, including perhaps things like the King George V, would uh, would go up to the Albert Harbour. So you'd have the Duchess of Hamilton, the Duchess of Montrose, the Waverley, the Ginny Deans, the Queen Mary II. All of these used to be seasonal steamers, uh, you know, and the Loch Fine. And the Loch Nevis and the maids, the Ashton, the Argyle, the Skelmerley was the four maids or three. The maid of Ashton, the maid of Argyle, the maid of Skelmerley and the maid of Cumbria, there was four, all built around 1953.